of how, um, of how this budget, whether it blows out or not, and who ends up bearing the impact on that. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Speaker. I call Maureen. Pierre. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Um, and uh, I have great pleasure tonight in standing up and speaking in support of the Tasman District Council's Waimea Water Augmentation Scheme Bill in its second reading. And I have a great affection for this scheme. And um, I also share a little bit of ownership with it because half of the lake is going to be in the electorate of West Coast Tasman. And it's going to serve the people of the Tasman area extremely well. I acknowledge the Select Committee, the um, Governance and Administration Select Committee, for the unanimous support of this bill. I think that was a great partnership and a significant step in making sure that this bill actually reaches its desired conclusion. I'd just like to take up a couple of points that the previous speaker made around the cause of the cause of the cause of the cause. And the reality is that the reason that we need this water augmentation scheme bill is because it doesn't rain all day, every day. It rains at the wrong times of the year, and we need to capture the water that falls at the times of the year when there are not as many demands on that water. So in the Tasman and Nelson region, very hot, dry summers with a fantastic horticultural sector there that needs the guarantee and the surety going forward that they're going to have water. And so the cause of the need for this is purely because we need to ensure that there is security of the water supply. And I can assure the former member too that there are going to be no shortcuts taken in the monitoring of this, of this uh, development that the people who are engaged by the Tasman District Council to monitor biodiversity are experts in their field, they're highly qualified, and we can trust them to do an open and transparent job of the monitoring of this scheme. Madam Speaker, the big winner out of this bill is the river, the Waimea River. And we know that uh, this, the issues that we have with water quality are when the river flows are extremely low. And so we have the algae build-up, we have the fish dying. This scheme is a, is a fantastic support to that biodiversity and to ensure the river health. And I'd just like to quote from a submitter to the process, the former parliamentary commissioner for the environment, Morgan Williams, who said, you don't keep a river alive unless the water is flowing through it. With a dam, it allows you to keep the river flowing, keep the river alive, keep it healthy, and also keep the aquifers topped up. Rivers, by definition, if they are going to stay healthy, they need to keep flowing. That is what this bill is about, is about ensuring that we can maintain river flows. But, Madam Speaker, it is also about maintaining the economic um, biodiversity and the economic viability of established businesses in the Nelson and the Tasman area and ensure that those workers who have committed to their roles there, who have moved there to support those industries, have a viable future. I have great pleasure in commending this bill to the House. I call Jamie Strange. Madam Speaker, thank you for the opportunity to take a call on the Tasman.